Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I bring to you a very very interesting video. Now a case may happen that if you have some operating system, one operating system or multiple operating system and you accidentally delete the grub configuration file. Yes, if you delete the grub configuration file, it will not boot. That means the operating system will not boot at all. Now this situation may come, uh, suppose uh, you are running a uh, Linux operating system and you install the windows. Then what will happen that windows bootloader will replace the uh, Linux bootloader. So Linux bootloader will be gone and you cannot actually uh, boot the Linux operating system. And reverse case may be possible, right? So in this situation, now how you can access your operating system? Suppose in emergency basis, you need to uh, access your operating system. So what you can do? Either you do a full recovery and that is a very complicated process or maybe some difficult process at least. Now I will say that a tool is there uh, to solve your problem. What is the tool? It is called super grub to disk. Yes, can you remember? Super grub to disk. It is actually very small ISO file that you can actually burn or uh, copy in the Ventoy uh, USB drive or you can burn a CD and you can actually go to your operating system through booting by this ISO image. That means if you use this uh, image actually uh, in the CD or DVD and through it without bootloader, suppose your operating system doesn't have any bootloader or corrupted bootloader but you can easily go to your operating system through through this uh, super grub to disk yes it is a very very powerful tool okay all operating system in your uh, laptop or desktop or pc all things it will detect perfectly and uh, you can easily uh, go to your operating system and do whatever uh, you can do so let's start the video so before start the video i uh, request you that uh, please support me and subscribe my channel and share my video also Okay, so let's jump into our topic. All right, so you can see that this is my uh, actually uh, virtual box and I have installed Linux Lite. I have installed Linux Lite in my virtual uh, box. Okay, to show you the process. Okay, so uh, I have installed the Linux Lite in actually in legacy BIOS mode. Okay, no UEFI uh, I have used here. Okay, and you can uh, see the settings basically. You can see there is no UEFI. So I have installed like this. So uh, just uh, first of all, I am showing uh, the the natural booting process okay of it and if you want to see the boot process then press uh, arrow arrow key up or down key and I am pressing so you can see the boot process of the Linux Lite okay so you can see it all right and you can see that boot process is normal because uh, it is uh, booting uh, by the grub uh, and basically the grub version 2.04 okay so no problem with that <coughs> And you can see the normal booting process. Wait a minute. Now it will uh, show up the login screen, right? Okay, so this is the Linux Lite login screen, and you can see. And so I have to type my password to login, and you can see now it will go into the system. This is the normal process of starting an operating system. So this is uh, the Linux uh, Lite desktop. You can see very uh, beautiful uh, desktop, lightweight desktop. You can see. Now basically, uh, uh, you can actually. Now what I will do that I will intention intentionally uh, delete the grub uh, configuration file. Okay, so that uh, I cannot boot uh, later. So for this, uh, I am going to the terminal okay and this is the terminal you can see and from here just cd i'm going to boot and grub and there you can see the files and you can see this is the grub.cfg file this is the grub configuration file 
all the uh, booting process how the operating system will boot what will be the theme all these things actually uh, uh, actually um, going through this uh, grub configuration file so if you delete the grub uh, configuration file or you uh, have made uh, some changes to it then the operating system will not boot okay so what i will do that remove it okay so sudo rm and i'm just deleting it and this is an administrative task okay so i have to type the administrative password so typing the password and you can see this is now deleted okay so this is now deleted now what i will do that i will power off the machine and i will try to log in again so just powering off the machine okay now now i have to do uh, actually first of all look at the partitions okay look at the partitions here so just g parted here installed so uh, now see the partitions here and you will see that uh, there is an esp partition okay there is an esp partition so booting process can be done from here okay so you can see this is the esp partition so now what i will do that i will delete this okay so i will delete this uh, boot partition first of all unmount and then just delete okay so just delete the partition okay and you can see the partition is deleted now i can uh, create a new partition from here or you can uh, stay like this okay i suppose i am making a fat 32 partition here okay all these things i have uh, done okay now you can see uh, this uh, boot partition has been deleted or formatted also if i go to the boot uh, directory slash boot and here you can see some efi directory so going to efi directory let's see <laughs> nothing here okay so now basically i will reboot the system and let's see that the operating system will boot or not just see okay so again i am starting it now let's see it is booting or not and you can see it is not booting at all and you can see this is a grub uh, rescue um, command uh, command prompt so uh, you only uh, you can see this uh, command prompt and you can basically uh, do nothing from here either you are in a, a great expert of the uh, command line of the grub configuration okay so from here you cannot do anything the system will not boot at all now from this situation i will uh, tell you that how you can easily go to your operating system without uh, bootloader so you can see there is no bootloader or grub configuration file has been deleted or modified or whatever okay maybe uh, this is uh, your fault or maybe uh, you are uh, you um, installing some operating system and it will replace the previous uh, bootloader so uh, many reasons uh, can be happen basically now i will uh, power off the machine and now i will add a, a cd that is the our uh, super grub to disk i will add this to the storage okay and you can see this uh, cd drive is empty here so i will add this basically all right so choose a disk file so now i have to go here and super grub to disk this super grub to disk efi.is oh okay so basically i will use this and okay suppose i am doing in efi okay because grub2 disk i have uh, using i am using here is the efi uh, efi you can see this is the efi version 
so now now the uh, booting key will be function f2 so just type function f2 all right and you can see the grub uh, uh, sorry this is the uh, bios uh, menu and this is the boot manager so now okay now the cd rom now hit the cd rom okay so you can see uh, this is the super grub 2 disk okay and here uh, i will uh, apply the first option that is the detect and show boot methods that means uh, any operating system either windows or linux or mac or bsd any operating system it will detect and it will and it can boot the operating system without uh, their bootloader so just to detect all right and you can see the operating system installed uh, in the system you can see the uh, and you can see this is the uh, Linux 5.4 this is actually our Linux Lite and many more uh, uh, things you can see here that grab configuration file and also okay some options uh, you can see there are uh, two partitions there okay you can see so I will use the first option that means I have to boot the Linux Lite in, uh, uh, okay so just hit enter And you can see uh, the booting starts that means the operating system is now uh, available to you and you can easily uh, go to your operating system and do uh, whatever you can do uh, and it's great you can see my login screen uh, has appeared and I can log in now by typing my password. So you can easily access your operating system without bootloader or corrupted bootloader. You can see this is very much easy. So you can see that uh, this is my Linux Lite uh, desktop. So I have come here. Now basically uh, for this you need the super grub do disk always available to you. Now for a permanent solution that means if you want to uh, restore the grub either in the UEFI or in the legacy BIOS mode. So you need to boot repair. So a tool is there called boot repair. You can install uh, here. Basically you install here the boot repair uh, tool and from there you can actually uh, restore your uh, grub bootloader. Otherwise one other option is there that you can actually install the risk attacks. Yes, risk attacks is pretty much great tool and uh, I love it very much. Okay, so just use risk attacks for uh, to recover the to restore the grub bootloader. Okay, so uh, but uh, for today, uh, this is all the things uh, I have. Okay, I will make a separate video uh, for the, that uh, how you can uh, restore your uh, grub bootloader there. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching my video and uh, take care all of you and uh, uh, share my video and subscribe my channel uh, and uh, support me